Hi guys! Welcome to the worst and the saddest kitchen in the world! TasteAtlas.com just rated Norway as the worst cuisine among 95 countries in the world. They were looking at uh, ingredients, dishes and beverages and yes, we came last. We are going to take a closer look at the most bland, boring and uninspiring dishes in the world. Norway is known for high quality Norwegian salmon and all of that, Norwegian fish. But in Norway we are not so fond of the salmon. So what we like is this, uh, I'm not sure if it's dog food, cat food or human food. Can you, can you guess what this is called? Uh, fish suffered. Yeah, it's called fish pudding. So you could say that this is a typical tasteless dinner ingredient from Norway. It's processed fish and even though we have a lot of quality fish in Norway, Norwegians tend to prefer processed food. So this is processed uh, fish. And it's delicious. Yes, and it's mixed with uh, flour and uh, milk, I think. And you can fry it and then you can pour some extra white sauce on it. Wouldn't that be too much? Yeah, maybe. So you can have some carrots and not that sauce. And it's very easy to cut and slice. We, we don't like uh, food to smell too much. And we don't like it to, to taste too much either. So this fish pudding mm, tastes a little bit like jelly from salt water. And when you come to Norway, you can expect to have some variations of this processed fish. It could be like this, uh, looking like a dog food. It could be a more classic pudding form, or it can come as small little fish balls, but all always in the same color, the same tasteless quality, and the same pudding jelly like uh, texture you can see here and the best thing with this here is it really is fast to eat i mean you can just this one you can eat and uh, be full with it's effective very efficient very efficient food doesn't taste anything no friction no uh, resistance it's you just don't have right to think no it's true. Mm. This is on the menu on a Norwegian restaurant. First, Fish first pudding. course. First course. Well, the ingredients, as you know, we're going to be a little more complex uh, later on. But I mean, this is just a start. It's the beginning of your Norwegian culinary journey. We have a lot of very, well, not exciting, more tame and dull stuff on our way. The fish pudding, it's a typical everyday dish. <laughs> but now we are going to look at some of our more classical dishes. And here we have real variation. And maybe not as boring as the fish pudding. And yes, guys, I know your Norwegian will now start screaming, we don't eat it from a can or a paper box. We make it ourselves. And it's okay, but even though we do that, some of you do, most of people buy it like this. This is really something. Here you find the heart and soul and everything we are as a Norwegian cultural food nation. This is a Norwegian classic. And I will start, and much loves this. It's called light lapskos. Mm. And lapskos and light, you have to, you will see that it's a light brown, I think. This lease. And Lapskos, oh my god, this is the top of what you can have in Norway. Look here. Mm. It also looks like uh, pet food. No, uh, it looks like... It looks like... Mm. But look at the beautiful light color. 
I mean, this is something more than the white fish pudding. Mm. Look there. <laughs> it's it's really, really lovely. <laughs> Welcome to the restaurant. Yeah, so when you come to Norway, you will for sure be served this dish. And the, the thing here is that you take potato, you take carrot, you take take some onion and you have some meat is it meat this one here yeah that's meat. yeah mm. something mm. but you don't have to put it on a plate you can eat it from the box yeah of course but now we are at the pop-up your restaurant your <laughs> idiot but as oh, i promise you as i promise you look this is a light here you have a lighter version and then mm. Now it needs some variation. So this one is the other one. This is called dark brown. And here you can see we have the brown version. And and it has that same Norwegian wishy-washy texture. And the smell of some food that has been stored for many years. So at our Norwegian pop-up restaurant, here you are served... Okay, I put a chamber music. Da -da -da. Sir, for your Norwegian dinner today, two variations of darker and lighter lapskos. It really is our national pride and joy. It tastes like Michelin. Of course, Norwegian Michelin. La 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 la. Are you enjoying the <laughs> culinary journey through Norway so far? Okay. Yeah. Would you like to eat this uh, lapis case? Yes. Would you prefer the light version, light brown or dark brown? What's the difference in taste? Nothing. But, uh, you know, Norway, we are a part of the world. So we are taking... We are international! Yes, we are international. Mm. This dish, if you ask Norwegians, they will say this is the best pasta dish in the world. And oh. here again we are on a can and yes, I know some of you prefer to make it on your own at home. It's called spag spaghetti, spaghetti alla carte. Yeah. yeah. It's so easy. It's so, it's such... I mean, in Italia, go home. You can never... They have an Italian guy here. Yeah, but you can... Let me see that Italian yeah, guy. But, but uh, you, you uh, Italian guys, you stand no chance. Norway just made the best pasta dish in the world. You left behind. Look at this vital, uh, vibrant, quality pasta. And look these sausages it's look isn't it exotic aren't you hungry do you have water in your mouth now look this is actually one of my favorite things. it's true he's not kidding and and pasta you know the the stupid italians they want to make the pasta al dente yeah but in Norway, Dry. we want to make it Slush. as slushy as possible. Because then you don't have to bother chewing. No, you can just swallow. And, 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 and I mean, this crushed pasta, it's so easy. You can have them right in the wings, like infusion. Mm. And it tastes absolutely nothing and it, that's the best because it I mean, tastes spaghetti alla capri yes nothing because there is no taste it's a bit al dente that ball the ball yeah. yeah okay yeah but mm. when you, i can't i can't feel the difference <laughs> between the pasta and the meatball mm. can you mm, yeah you 
could. You How can, would you describe them? The 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 balls around the pasta looks like uh, the rest of the brain. Yeah. Okay. So so it's for, just visuals. So for Norwegians, it's important that everything on your plate uh, tastes the same and tastes nothing, and it's very easy to eat because for us Norwegian, food is like fueling your car with gas. I mean. We, we want to do it fast, we are not sitting around the table and waiting and blah de blah de blah. What we need is frictionless food. Mm. This is the top. I mean, I, I, I think that if we went to Italy with this uh, can, I think the Italians would be... Sorry. Yeah, and they would have more of this. You might be wondering, what? Is wrong with those guys? Why don't they have any taste this? What? Why not? Why everything is bland? Well, that's not true. Don't listen to the critiques. We have, of course, we have herbs and spices and everything. I mean, my God. First, we have salt. Salt is the fundament for our rich and flat taste. And then we add some spicy pepper to make it pop. And one, only one bay leaf to make it a bit less depressing. And finally, in the weekends, you can also use one clove of garlic. And that's it. And now in the end, we're going to dander a dish. You know, a typical Norwegian dish with uh, vegetables. Uh, more fresh vegetables, of course, high quality vegetables. Those vegetables that have makes you have juices in your mouth, and it comes from this package. As you know, Norwegians we love processed food, and we're going to, to make uh, uh, meat cakes, shatkaker, and you need that. It looks like Swedish uh, meatballs, and I think they are very inspired by those. It looks like something from your body. And since we are frugal, not more than two, of course. And then oh, those oh yeah no 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 wait a minute wait a minute packages those yeah, practical isn't packages practical and here you have it's almost unrecognizable but it's a potato oh my god but you have to put it but in the micro yeah but um, I know you know we like our food uh, really mushy and wishy washy uh, and then of course we are no stranger for colors. So, carrots. Mmm, mm, watery and lovely. And look, here we have really. Look, a lovely dish. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mm. Something is missing. No. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course, the gravy, our sauce, our national sauce, I almost forget. I mean, we are not stupid. We are a culinary nation, and we are that new Nordic nation, and you know, we love to have, we have to have something extra to make it a Norwegian dish. And you go, smack, There it is! Okay, of course, brown sauce, because in sure? Norway, are you sure? Yes, it will not be dinner before we have our special brown sauce on everything, and this brown sauce, you will find it in all, more or less, all Norwegian dishes. You can either have it brown like that, or you can have a white variant of it. And we need something to drink, of course. Oh, why? Yes. We have some real, the most popular uh, drink to a dinner dish in Norway. And it's very typical Norwegian. Actually, no other country drinks this as much as we do. Oh, it's a, it's a it, traditional Norwegian yeah. drink. And it could, of course, be water from the nature, because we have lovely water. But since you guys are special, 
we have a special Norwegian pop-up restaurant. We couldn't only have water. We have to have our most popular dinner dish. And that is Pepsi Max. We can't get enough of Pepsi Max. So if you ever wonder why Norway uh, was rated the worst kitchen in the world by Taste Atlas, well, this is your answer. Is it a lot of Norwegian restaurants in the world? I mean, have you ever been to a Norwegian? Have you ever seen a Norwegian restaurant? Yeah, I have. But have you guys? No. I don't know. I have never seen it, if except of our today, the fabulous uh, kitchen in the world. It's the first. It's the first. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys have seen one. So what, which di dish did you prefer? What are you looking forward to your next stay in Norway? Give us your comments. We love them. And until next time, see you. Sing a little song about Brentford. <laughs>